Ciao a tutti. Buongiorno. If I don't look very awake, it's because I'm not. Yes. <laughs> Neither of us are. Although this one here managed to sleep a few hours and I did not. Yeah. Um, I'm not very good just before a flight as far as my brain goes a thousand miles an hour and um, having to get up for 2 a.m. to get a car to the airport really wasn't enough time for my body to sort of slow down and go to sleep so I really haven't had any rest. But here we are in exciting <laughs> Sydney, Sydney Airport, airport has, where... Which hasn't really opened up yet. Hmm, well, we checked in. That's a good start. Got rid of um, the big bags. Yes. But customs and immigration don't open until 4. Or they weren't going to get out of bed at 2 a.m. like <laughs> us. So we're actually, everyone's sitting around here waiting for um, customs and immigration to, to open up. So we're just sitting, but like everybody else, no cafes open, mm. no nothing. You can't even get a glass of water. Um, I need so, a coffee. Oh desperately anyways so this is the start of our journey back to Bella Italia mm -hmm. and honestly there were stages along the way in recent times where I really didn't think that was going to happen there's been so much you know going on in our lives with mum and then myself and it just seemed to be one thing after another and but I just Plotted through with mm. this beautiful man's help and support, and we made it. We're here, sitting here, waiting to get on our flight back to Italy. And yeah. we left Mum this morning, um, happy for us, and much better, and being cared for. And it's yeah, it's crazy. It sort of almost mm. feels a bit surreal because I've just had so much on my plate for a while <laughs> um, yeah. that it it just feels a little bit surreal to now know that we managed still to to do what we want to do so this is the beginning of the journey and mm -hmm. we wanted to share it with you so we'll um, take you on our journey back to mm -hmm. beautiful Italy. Tiani and beautiful Italy next stop Dubai next stop mm -hmm. Dubai Dubai, 6am. Seated as soon as possible. Are you moving? Yes. Moving down. <laughs> Ciao Sydney. See you next time. Oh yeah, I shall. It was nice, yeah, but I just don't want to short stop in Dubai just having a coffee in the lounge it's David beautiful high ceilings in here buongiorno breakfast at the Mercure Leonardo da Vinci 
My man has already started tucking in. Buongiorno, David. You had eggs and bacon and sausage and mushrooms and things like that. I have some eggs. We didn't eat since yesterday on the plane, so we we're quite hungry this morning. So I have some yogurt and muesli, some eggs, a little croissant and a coffee, and a little glass of pomegranate juice. Buon appetito! I thought I'd just show you all. When you come in Fiumicino on a plane, there's your terminal over there. That's Terminal 3, which is most international flights come in there. So you can then come straight from the actual departures level. So if you're on the arrivals level, you just catch the little lift up. And if it's raining, it's awesome because you don't have to come outside at all. It's not raining today, but we still took it. Of course, it's easier. And you have these very long tunnels coming across the road. Can you see that tunnel? Just there. It brings you across the road, through here, and then all the way into Fumicino train station. So we've just been transferred this morning from our hotel to here. And we've just been dropped off. We've got the lift up that comes through here, taking these walkways. I couldn't film while I was carrying suitcases, that's why I'm doing it now. And there you have all the panels with the trains. And when I turn around here, you'll see Stazione Fiumicino Aeroporto. And the trains are just way up there. David's sitting up there with our suitcases now. So we're catching the Freccia Rossa, which is the fast train. You've seen me on that before. And we're going straight from Leonardo da Vinci Airport here, from Fiumicino, straight through to Santa Maria Novella in Florence to then catch a local train through to Ponte d'Ara and then getting picked up to go home to Chiani. We can't wait. Not long now. Buongiorno. We're here at the Fiumicino train station just waiting for our train. And how much are you looking forward to going home? Uh, can't wait, can't wait. Can't wait. So you have these check-ins, this is the way out, I didn't want to get in everyone's way over there, so on the other side you check in. If you've got a printed ticket or even a QR code, you just scan to get through, just like you do in most modern train stations. And there's just three different um, lines, binari, they're called here in um, binario. So you have a ticket it might say binario one two or three so that is the actual platform you'll be standing on you have to make sure you check in your ticket always if you're on a local train and if you're on a freccia rossa like us as i said it'll just scan your ticket going through and someone normally comes through also on the trains and checks your tickets to make sure i normally do a printout if i can otherwise i just have it on my phone but sometimes with phones if something goes wrong i don't always trust it and that's why i like to have a printout as well so we're inside the Freccia Rossa now and I thought I'd just show you before lots of people get on board. We are in what's called, it's business, it's called business economy, which is strange. It's just a one step up, if you like, from normal economy, but it's really, really, really comfortable and you get little snacks and things. And um, behind me here, I've just gone through that, oh, it wanted to open. Um, you've got free Wi-Fi and you've got very, very clean bathrooms. As you can see, it's looking quiet, really, really comfortable. David's just sitting there, and we've got chairs facing each other with a little table in between, and it's lovely. So we'll be leaving soon. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. I thought you might all like to see, I hope you can hear me, what they give you as a snack. We've actually both got a glass of red wine and two coffees, little espresso coffees. And then you get a little snack box, which normally has um, like a little sandwich in it, biscuits. Sometimes you get nuts and things. It has a serviette, a wiping towel there. So considering it's all included is actually really really great and then we're already on the train for just not even two hours yeah so it's fantastic 
Bon appétit. Bon appétit, Morey. Bon appétit. Welcome home, darling. Yeah. Ah, there's people sitting at the cafe. David's getting all the hard work. A dopo, Fabio. A dopo. We just can't get over the plants that we left out all winter. They are so full. The beautiful new growth. Look at the rosemary. It's crazy. Everything's gone nuts. Look at my rosemary plant that I planted. It's gone nuts. It's doubled in size. How wonderful. Nothing's died. Oh, viva mm. Sonny. <laughs> Welcome home, darling. Yeah. She needs opening up. She's all mm. dark. and But I tell you what, I was just saying to David, this house is so healthy. Every time I walk in here after being closed up for months, there's no smell at all. In fact, it smells quite perfumed and mm. lovely, if anything else. It's, it's incredible. But we'll need to put on some heating. We'll turn on the radiators because it's quite chilly. And, um, yes, we need some... Some nice heating on, so it'll be nice and cosy for tonight. Maybe open the little window on the back of the door there, darling, just to let some natural light in for the minute. Yeah. And we'll go up and... Let's go up and open up in here. Pitch black. Let's turn on our light. Oops. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. Oh, my gosh. We need to open up here. Oh, now I've hidden this key somewhere, haven't I? Where have I put that key? Here we go. Open up the doors. Oh, it's not going in straight. 
what's going on here. Hmm. Dunning, mm -hmm. can you try this key for some reason? I think I've got the right key. I had it just there, so it doesn't seem to want to... Do I have the right key? Oh, yes, I do. It was just me trying to do it with one hand and probably because it was a little bit blocked. There you go. Open this up so we've got some light, natural light. There we go. Ah, ciao. Come on, say. Benissimo, grazie. Ciao. Right, done. Hello. <laughs> So this is what it looks like in springtime. Yes, that got mm. cut back. They always cut mm. that back because it gets so big. It, it comes yeah, all yeah. the way over here. But um, everything's just coming to life, obviously. Mm. It's still quite cold and they've had a very wet beginning to spring. Oh, they're doing roadworks over there. Look, mm. the road is all, mm -hmm. all dug up there. They must be doing some roadworks. Mm. There we go. But it's a beautiful blue clear sky this evening mm. which is a good thing so let's hope that continues we'll just go up here and see up here just as well leave those shutters closed actually seeing night will be coming soon but back to the bedroom all good or oh, i think i do need to make the bed actually before we can sleep in the bed this evening i just thought of that david i don't think the bed's made of so, yes, we may need to make the bed. Yes. But there we go. Oh. Yay. Yay. Buongiorno. We are home. We had a good night's sleep. Woke up at 5 a.m., but that's okay. Then dozed a little bit. Have been working very hard all morning, and my back is killing me now, so we're just going to relax this afternoon unpacking suitcases, putting things into wardrobe, cleaning house, doing all that kind of thing. It takes hours and, you know, even in a little house. There's David doing something over in the sink. Say hello to everyone, David. Hello, everyone. <laughs> there he is, just washing out the little coffee pot. And he's just put the coffee grains, mm. these coffee grains into the plants out the front that are doing well, I'll show you. Oh, let me show you these incredible strawberries we just picked now, up. The size of them, there's they, my hand. They are massive, massive, and they look delicious and I just can't wait mm. to crunch on one, but we'll have those for dessert after lunch. We didn't get a lot of shopping this morning, just a bit, bits and bobs. Some wonderful looking tomatoes, some really crispy apples, a little bit of rucola. I bought mm. some um, mozzarellas, um, some prosciutto. We're just going to have a caprese salad for lunch, but we miss the bakery, so we don't have any no. bread to mop up our olive oil, which is always a bit no. sad. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Um, we were busy so this morning and forgot about it. We were, my darling. You know, yeah. there's only so much you can do in the first morning. And my back's pretty much shot now. I've done enough for one day, I think. So nothing too strenuous this afternoon. But I'll come and show you. Now, look at this. When the lady said to me last year, was I making olive oil with my one tree? I said, I laughed. And I said, oh, I don't think so, because I didn't think it would get one olive. And yet it is teeming with little tiny olive buds on every branch. And we've had some great growth even though it has had probably too much rain that's a sign of too much water on the olive tree but it's fine it'll start to get really warm look at this rosemary bush that has grown immensely it was a tiny little thing that i planted just before i left it's like three times the size so that's wonderful and the geraniums from last year are actually retaking all the little plants have just thrived so much over winter. I can't believe it. Just with all the natural rain they've had. Look at these wonderful, um, they're the weeping, I suppose the weeping rosemaries. I can't remember exactly what they call them, but they grow over the edges. They've, I'd say tripled in size and length. There's another one down there. So we're really, really happy coming back and the jasmine downstairs as well you probably can't see it from here 
in the big pot. That's got loads of beautiful new branches and buds on it as well. So that's cool. So really, really happy with all of that, aren't we, darling? Mm, it's going really well. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll take you upstairs and show you what I've done up there this morning. So we're still in a bit of a mess. Oh, we need to put the outdoor furniture outside. This is all a bit of a mess because we had to shift everything to unpack suitcases. I bought another lovely little painting, an Italian painting that mum gave me. She gave me the one downstairs on the that's sitting on the chimney. Um, and this is, it's like a little matching pair that she bought, that one with it. So I think that might go in that hole there. Look at that lovely sun out there, darling. We can sit out there and have our lunch. Mm. Oh, wonderful. We need to put the outdoor furniture out. Got a stack of books. They're my books. Oh, anyone that hasn't seen my book yet should be showing. That's book number one. That was the bestseller. And book number two is somewhere. Oh, where's book number two? Oh, okay. So, oh, I was going to say, oh, there's book number two. La Morange. Mm -hmm. And that's my folie française. Mm. And I'll be taking those, a couple of those to France to donate to the library in the village where I lived and also to give to a couple of special people and leave a couple of copies, of course, here for me, for my own house. Still a bit of a mess here. Oh, I was trying out where we put the painting, got books to put away, still things to put away and sorted out the ripostilio this morning and it's chock-a-block chock-a-block that was all empty shelves this morning and now we are prepared for months ahead but this is going to change a lot this year because we really intend on getting some lovely ikea systems i think and to fill up all the walls and have double layers of hanging shelves that fit properly all the way to the ceiling so, but in the meantime, it's just perfect. They were the lovely solid bookshelves that my lovely friend Kathleen gave me and I'm very, very grateful to have them and they make a wonderful walk-in wardrobe for me in the meantime. So that's that. Good afternoon and we've just had a little rest. I was so exhausted after this morning. Just outside the house now and we're going to go for a little walk around the village just to have a little bit of an afternoon stroll because there's a little bit of sun and I don't know what the weather's going to do in the next few days because they've had a lot of rain so we thought we'd just get out and about a little bit and just take you with us let's see what we discover today David and I just having a walk down and around and um, checked out the home one of the lovely homes that some lovely people bought with my help up here and then there's this one here that's for sale up there, that top one, and it's beautiful. It's got a lovely view out the other side, and there's some work being done underneath. We noticed the arch and some things are being done here. So that's in this just this lovely little walkway. It's only about 20 metres away from our house. We're just walking down to the, the garbage bins. Already, already managed to create one full bag of rubbish just by being here overnight. <laughs> But, you know, you just find new things in the house that I didn't get a chance to throw away last time I was here. So that's down to the bar, just down there. Oh, and there's still houses that have got their cute little Easter decorations on their doors and things. Because, of course, Easter was just last weekend. So, oh, we've got some lovely blue sky there, thank goodness. I was hoping we'd get some sunshine out on our walk. Oh, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, look at all the lemons on that person's tree. Gosh, that's already laden, isn't it? You see all those lovely lemons? How awesome. Good to know that people can grow lemons here, actually, because I wondered about having a lemon tree. I'm sure we'll be able to put one down in the grove. We've just come down from the, that's where we drop off our rubbish over there. And this is the valley. You've seen me take you down to the old Molino, the mill, the olive mills down by the river. You can hear the river running actually. And David and I were just saying this tree needs to come down. That's well and truly dead. Gosh, so it's a very, very tall tree. 
I'm sure they'll have to get that chopped before it lands anywhere that it shouldn't land and I'm hoping I'm using a what they call a dead cat for the first time ladies and gentlemen which is a little fluffy microphone on my phone it's a new gadget I bought so I'm hoping even though it's quite windy out here that you're hearing me loud and clear I'll soon tell when I get home and listen back to myself but I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me without any of that awful wind noise we normally get because that was one of my main bugbears with using my phone was the sound and David bought me a beautiful new vlogging camera at Christmas which was um, defaulty, faulty I should say so that was no good, we had to take it back you remember me showing you the Italo Rossi Ciampolini fountain which is running at the moment oh the water's not coming out of the lion's mouth though no it's not actually running and of course all the plant boxes that they normally have here aren't out yet because it's quite not quite warm enough yet they'll come out just before the main season I imagine a few people over at the bar Let's go and have a look up around the church, Dunning, mm. and see what the view looks like. Yes. Let's check out the view. There's a in. cool wind coming at us, isn't there? Mm. Okay, let's go up in here and get out of that. I've always been intrigued by this person's front door. It's such a steep, such steep ancient stone steps and I said to David I wonder how you get your furniture into houses like that <laughs> some of these old doorways are incredible oh I can hear children someone's running up behind me oops <laughs> okay <laughs> they were having a race there's magnificent San Donato looking as gorgeous as ever. Oh, those little boys were running up to the church for something. I wonder what they're doing up there in the church. Let's see what our lovely view is doing. Oh my goodness, I can see the green rolling hills from here with all the rain we've had or that they've had <laughs> before we got here we could tell when we were driving in yesterday that everything was incredibly green oh and I can see some beautiful bright yellow fields out there in the distance as well with the colza flowers and there we are back to our beautiful beautiful rolling hills aren't they just gorgeous So beautiful. Never tire of this, do you, darling? Oh, it's amazing. It is amazing.
never tire. Oh, David, I'm just about to say I never tire, and David's sort of yawning out really, really loud. Isn't that funny? What a coincidence. Some lovely friends of ours live in this beautiful apartment here with all the arches. Then a lovely friend, another lovely friend lives in this house here. And then another lovely friend lives just here with the rooftop terrace there. Getting to know so many different people in different homes. It's beautiful. Mm. Such a lovely community. Love these terracotta roofs. They're just gorgeous. And look at those white fluffy clouds. They're they so are. fluffy, aren't they, David? They are very, very fluffy. Almost they look like velvet, white velvet, white and like. grey. I don't they? Yes, they're like all yeah. fluffy on the edges and very yeah. velvet-like. Oh, it's very beautiful. And of course, another one of my favourite vistas is the bell tower and the lovely olive groves beyond. It's so pretty. And sometimes the beauty you find is just simply standing and looking at one of these beautiful old walls. Bits and pieces missing, but the patina and the colours and the mix of the old stone, the old render, the bricks the worn out shutters it all adds to that beauty doesn't it well to me it does what do you think do you all love that as well to me that's part of the amazing beauty of being in Italy David and I were just looking at this building here which is being developed it's a big building and we could see these incredible pieces of stone sticking out, beautiful sculptured stone and then we just realised of course that they're going to be beautiful little mini balconies, like little Juliet balconies that you can step out onto. That's the gorgeous front door, as you can see it's all under construction, it has its little mm. sign there, another new door going in there, another balcony over there sweetheart see? So two lovely balconies and of course it's directly opposite where we were just standing so they're going to look way beyond these rooftops out to that wonderful view. It's always great to see people coming along and doing beautiful jobs with the renovations and that's just going to be splendid. What a lovely building that will be. It's a very very tall building. I don't know how far it goes up whether they have the entire thing. They might do because Look at those lovely arches, because I can see that that top window is also boarded up, so they might be doing up the entire thing. Gosh, oh really? Yeah. Look, I was looking up the height there, Danny, you can see up the boarded right up the top, so it might be this whole thing. Gosh, what a development that is. More signs of spring. The balconies beyond. There are some lovely flowers out already, actually. Here in there. Oh, look, and we're out on a walk, and we just found um, this, which is friends of ours here, and they're just starting an e-bike company here in Kiani. They've just launched, although their office isn't totally, totally finished yet. They're still in the processes, but what a lovely poster. Scopri i borghi della Toscana. Discover all the villages of Tuscany attraverso un'esperienza unica um, through a unique experience. And they're called Kiani e-bike. And they have their email address down there if you want to get them. They've also got a website. And this is their lovely office, which if I turn around where that car just went, that's just the corner where the supermarket and the, the cafe is on the other side, the bar centrale. So they're just literally, what, 20 metres away from the bar if you want to come in. And Chris is just busy cleaning things. And he's explained, of course, that they're not quite ready yet, but... 
all the wonderful bikes are in here. Um, helmets. The shop is ready. The shop is ready. The shop is, it's the all shop, going. Sorry, the shop isn't ready, but the bikes. The bikes are bike. ready, and they've also started already. I saw someone on Instagram. I think went out for a first ride and had a great time. So lots of bikes down in the back room as well. All different sizes and shapes and weights to suit tall people, smaller people, children. Doesn't matter who you are. And doesn't even matter if Chris was explaining, it doesn't even matter if you don't how, know how to push a bike too well or you struggle with things because he has a dodgy knee and he was saying you can get on one of these and it literally goes on its own. That's their sign they'll put out the front, Kiani e-bike. So if you want to do a lovely, easy ride through the Tuscan Hills, David looks like he's just about ready to go out on one, um, <laughs> then um, this is the place to contact. And I think in the next couple of weeks, I can't with my back, as you know, but I think David might go out for a ride, might you, darling? Yeah, and he can show you how easy it is and, and all the beautiful things you can see. Great idea. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> so you can email Chris or jump on his website, Chris and Michelle, and come and hire one of their gorgeous bikes. Gracious me. You look very serious. This is a very serious thing you're just about to do, David. This, this that is a strawberry. One. It's one heck of a strawberry, my darling. Right. I'd love to see how it tastes. Okay, you take the first bite. Does it taste like a strawberry, my love? <sighs> Heavenly strawberry. I can't Heavenly. wait to try one myself. Heavenly strawberry. Oh Sweet, flavoursome, oh, awesome. crisp, crunchy. All of the above. Uh, let me get a nice big whopper here. Mm. Oh, this one will do. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. 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 Ah, oh, tea and strawberries. And After a little walk, or a long walk for me actually. Perfect. Mm. Absolutely perfect. Oh. Our first glass of wine in Italy, mm. darling. And show me which wine it is. I know it was a lovely oh. gift from someone at the end of last season. It is. And I think it was, oh, I'm just trying to think who it was. I think it was Victoria that gave it to me. Oh, and yep. it's lovely. I can't read the label because mm. I don't have my glasses Eratico. on. But I know she said it was a beautiful wine. So if it was you, Victoria, I think it was you, Victoria. Grazie mille. Mm. And we're trying it now together because I didn't want to drink it without Monte David Gaston. Montesquieu Cabernet. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Cheers, my love. With a couple of my mm. favourite Rustico chippies. Chin chin. Chin chin amore mio. Chin chin chin. chin. Mm. Mm. Bueno. Mm. Bueno. Mm. Oh, delicioso. Mm. Oh, now we're just going to sit back and relax. It's been a big first day. A big first day. And we just need it to has. pace ourselves, don't we? Mm. Oh. This is a lovely way to finish the afternoon or st yeah, no start piano. the evening, I should say. I think it's about 6.30, isn't it? Mm. About 6.30, so yeah. I don't think we'll last long tonight. We're both pretty tired, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. But we've been sitting here looking through my lovely um, Create book that I brought Create with me book. from Sydney. Mm -hmm. It's got beautiful ideas in it, and I've been very inspired about my... Mm gallery wall over there that I'm putting together so I've gathered a few more little bits and pieces and you'll see what I get up to. Cheers everyone. Salute. Buongiorno. <laughs> I'm in my um, blue and white 
nighty this morning. I decided just to come here and say hello, fresh out of bed. Oh, after breakfast, actually. You might be able to hear David. I don't know if you can see him in the dark down there. Can you see him? Oh, he's sitting in the dark, <laughs> playing his guitar. <laughs> anyway, this morning we're going to do a couple of little jobs and um, I'll show you what they are. And I'll just spin the camera around so I can show you what it is we're up to, okay? So here we have a little tiny collection, just one of the little baby mirrors I've bought. Oh, you can see me in that. This is just a really sweet frame I found. Um, let me hand hold it to like so it's like a little very, very highly decorated gilt frame. Oh look at that with the hydrangea, isn't that pretty? <laughs> oh, I can frame David playing the guitar. There we go. <laughs> so that's going to go on the wall with nothing in it. Odd, you might say, but no, I'm doing a collection, sort of an eclectic wall here. Um, now this, which I want to hang up, I'll bring it over to the light a little bit more to show you. So you can see that beautiful mother of pearl. So, and the carving. So this was made by Maoris in New Zealand, and I bought it on one of my New Zealand trips, and I always really loved it. I thought it was such a sweet little bag. So I'm going to hang that up because I want this to be a wall that has lots of interest and not just Italian things. Whoopsie. Bag. And then the last one is another little painting that my mum gave me. If you remember the cute little one of the house above our um, sitting on the mantel downstairs of the chimney in the kitchen. So it's the same artist and they just do very, very sweet, rustic, but it's an oil, it's an original oil and you can see the, the signature and she bought them in Italy many years ago and she gave them both to me because she thought they'd really suit the house and I, I believe they do. So this one's lovely colours with lots of greens and golds and browns and the colours that are kind of already in this room which is just perfect and it's a nice timber, simple timber frame with some gold around it. So that might go in that hole there, though I'm going to play around. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to play around and hold things up and I'll get David to hold things up for me across this wall so that I can then see. And that larger painting is going to go over on that wall, but that will need a drill. Whereas these ones don't need a drill because I use those really sweet, if you remember, I've got those really, really sweet little fleur-de-lis hooks that I buy at the local hardware store. So I'm going to continue using those because I think that looks really pretty. There we go. That's this morning's jobs. Right. What do you think, David? That's sort of centered between the two. Mm -hmm. Nice height, and then we put the other bits underneath. Do you think that's going to look good? I reckon so. Yeah. We start to like get away from that linear thing. Yes. To make the collage. Okay, darling. So, good. whereabouts is the rope behind that one? That's the only thing it's about so far down, isn't it? Yeah. About there. Mm. Okay, so how we need to mark a central dot for the top. That's where the rope is. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you can, with the can you hold with one hand and put a central dot, not there, sweetie, yeah, at the top, thank you. So I know that's the very, very top of the frame. It'll be hidden anyway. Awesome. And then we're coming down about that much, right? Give or take. Yeah, awesome. Beautiful, can you see those dots? I think I see, yeah, I can see them, great. I will get to see them when I put my glasses on. Awesome, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Almost 
Almost there. Almost there. Some of the other ones didn't go the whole way in, to be honest with you, because yeah. you can feel it's so solid anyway. That might be enough. Okay, so mm. those ones are done. Mm. Oh, we're very happy with those. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks lovely? I just wanted to create a really... Oops, I just trod on David's toe. Mm. Um, I just want to create a real gallery space, if you like, where nothing is totally in line. Um, so the basket now... So we have to hold the basket up somewhere and decide where the basket's going. It's going to be around here somewhere, mm -hmm. I imagine. So let's mm. hold that up, David, and see where we think. Mm. Mm. You mm. hold it in a couple of positions and I'll have a look. So are the up high? Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Mm. Are the up high or... I'm worried about putting it down too low because when mm. we sit there, our heads are sort of that height, aren't they? Yeah. That doesn't look too bad, actually, up high. Otherwise... That's a little bit too high, sweetheart, yeah. I don't want it square over that one, no. Um, oh, that's hard for me to tell now. Let me come over here. Mm, no, I think it was better where it was before for a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of suits, I think, being over that little, mm. the smaller mm -hmm. one by Philip, my lovely friend, who painted that for me. I kind of like it there, I think. Yeah, that would look good. Yeah. And then we can always get little things that sort of fill in these spaces here, you see, without coming down too low, like more of the cute little, you know, mirrors and different shaped little baby frames and things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A couple of things. Exactly, yeah, it'll spread along, but for the moment, yeah. All right, uh, let's, let's have a go yeah. at it there. Right, so I'm in the staircase, so I can see what it looks like as you walk up the stairs, which I think that looks really cool. And we're going to add more and more. Hello. <laughs> Hello. There's my happy helper. And now we need to go and get out of, out of our pyjamas, David. It's a very good job that we've done in our pyjamas, so this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks really lovely. And it adds more interest, doesn't it? It's not just just the paintings or just the prints. And it will have more additions to it, obviously, as we go along and go to little markets and find mm -hmm. other pretty pieces to add. But I think that's going to build and look really gorgeous. Start. I am happy. Are you happy? I'm happy, yeah. You're happy. Good. You're happy, I'm happy. And we're just loving doing things together because usually I'm here on my own doing all this stuff together. So we were saying yesterday, Dave was say, David was actually saying how much he loves being here and doing little simple things with me. So we're really enjoying that, aren't we, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay, great. Another job done. Time to have showers Bellissima. and get out of pyjamas. Bellissima. Bellissima. We just went up to get mm. the bread for today and David was, he had a little hole in his tummy, as they say. Mm. <laughs> and I spotted this. No, he spotted this. We no, just bought a, a lovely piece of cold capers. pizza. Capers. Tomato. But it's also got little, little, little bits of mm. cheese. Yes, it's not too mm, cheesy, but it's mostly cheesy. just a tomatoey, capery sort of olive yeah. focaccia bread, sort of mm. pizza bread, I should say. And it's really yummy. This is pre-lunch snack, would you believe? Mm. But hey, you just can't resist. And that's from our baker just up the road, like 20 metres that way. We bought a lovely big loaf of our very favourite darker rye bread they do. Mm. Yeah. And also we bought some schiacciata, a dark one and a light one, mm -hmm. um, which is really crunchy and yummy. I'll show you later. And we're just going to head down. He's going to have a coffee on top of that, would you believe? But anyway, mm. look, it's all right. The first few days that you're here, your tummy's all over the place and we're just a bit jet-lagged and hungry. Mm. So I thought we'd just show you that. But um, And they're the lovely bakers, the family that we actually bought our cantina off. And they grow all their own grains. They have fields and fields of grains. So I think I told you about that, but it, it's just wonderful quality. Hello, good afternoon everybody. We've just come out for a lovely walk. I've been picking some wildflowers and it's a glorious afternoon. As you can see, we're standing in the full, beautiful spring sunshine. And we just wanted to say goodbye um, and 
when I say goodbye just for this video. <laughs> just for this video. <laughs> I haven't just arrived and then saying goodbye. No, just to welcome you all back. Thank you all for coming back to join us once again. I know there's been a long hiatus with lots of mm. things going on. And we're both really, really grateful that you're yeah. coming back. You've waited so, so long, long for us. Thank yeah. You. It's really kind of you all. And now we're going to be sharing as much as we possibly can. Cars mm. going by, sorry. Mm. As much as we possibly can here from beautiful Chiani and Toscana. And in a week's time, we're going on a really special, special trip. And we'll be going mm. to places that a lot of you out there who watch some other lovely vloggers, you're going to know them for sure. I bet you follow them just like I do. But I'm keeping Ooh. it a secret for now. I'll keep you on tender hooks mm, just exactly. for a little while longer and then I'll share it with you. So we're so looking forward to it. Um, just a clue, it has something, one of the places has something to do with where I used to live many years ago. Mm. So some of you will know what that is. And then another place is another really lovely, sorry, another car. Oh, mm. and now a motorbike. <laughs> it was quiet here two seconds ago. Village traffic. <laughs> Village traffic. Um, yes, and the other place is mm, mm. near mm. a body of water. Yes, surrounded mm. by a body of water. Uh, mm. Surrounded by a body of water? No. Mm. Mm. Where these people live isn't surrounded. It's actually by mm. a body of water. By, by a body of by. water. Yeah, Fair yeah. Enough. So start guessing. If you want to guess and write in the comments, I might tell you, I might not. Anyway, <laughs> we will see you very soon again. And once again, thank you so much. And thank you for all your beautiful prayers and mm -hmm. blessings and wishes and comments yeah. over these last couple of months while we've been going through some tough times back in Sydney with my mum, myself, just all sorts of things. Honestly, you've given us so much strength and hope and happiness, um, mum included. She loves you all and she doesn't even know who you are. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back to Tales from Tuscany. We can't wait to share more with you. We're in Tuscany. We are in Tuscany <laughs> under the Tuscan <laughs> sun. <laughs> we are. Okay, um, I'll say ciao for now. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Alla prossima.